Well, hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. All right. We are here. We got an awesome purchase slash AOK from Mr. Panda Awesome 316. And Beckerman has got. I have a mail call. Mail call with, didn't you say with a lesson? Yep. A mail call with a lesson. So stick people around. like to learn. First and foremost, Mr. DJ Links, I'll send you the 50 cents. Sorry about that. <laughs> you don't want to get in deep to that guy. I know, right? But, so, we have a, yeah, huge, this purchase slash A-OK. -okay. I bought some books off Panda um, on uh, the garage uh, the garage sale on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. on Nick's Kicks and Comics. If you haven't checked this out, please do. You will find everything there. It is great. And crazy good deals. Crazy. Yeah, I bought a Q-rated box this last weekend. Did you? Oh, man. I can't wait until that comes in. I need to get one of those. Yeah, Remy Q knows my body, so. Yeah, well, there you go. He'll fill all my nooks and crannies with goodness. <laughs> all right, so we have, this is, no, I understand that this says Demons Quarterly, but this is actually uh, Hell Cop, and I don't know which issue. But that was just in there. Alan and his sexy books. Uh, that was, he, you know what? We get the free comic book day Ninja Turtle book. I have like eight of these. I'll add that to the collection. Can't have too many. <laughs> yeah, you can. It's one. <laughs> then we have uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, 124 cover B. A little Christmas special going on there. La 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 la. La 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 la. Then we have the New Mutants number 100. Ooh. Yeah. Kind of all kinds of craziness going on in that one. Oh, yeah. Feral on the cover. Yeah. With Shatterstar. I think Copy I have this pet. book. I Man, believe I believe I have this book, but it is X Force number one with the special trading card. And yes, it's still in the poly bag, so I'm pretty sure that if we pull Which it trading out, card? Uh Deadpool. Oh, that's the popular one. Man, I got that spiked Deadpool. in price for a minute there. What's that? That spiked in price for a minute there. Did it? Yeah. Well, cool. I have Deadpool. It came back to reality, but... Yeah. I Little... think I already have this. I don't know what card I have in it, but I have I already have one that is sealed. Little known fact about X-Force number one. If you actually put two random long boxes of comics together, like next to each other, an X-Force number one will actually show up somewhere in one of the boxes. <laughs> um, when two long boxes love each other, Alan, they produce X-Force number one. Is that is that right? Yes. I'm pretty right. sure that's scientifically proven. Okay. All right. Then we have this book, which, yep, okay. This is House of Slaughter, number one. This is obviously a variant. Um, it's actually a pretty cool variant. I don't know what movie they're homaging, but that's pretty cool. Oh, some sort of 70s horror movie? Yeah. Looks like House of a Thousand Corpses almost. Yeah, it might be. You know, they kind of made it good because the book is bad. I don't know. But <laughs> I don't read it. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to try. And then we have Venom number one. Pretty cool variant there. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I dig it. Mm -hmm. And then we have a Venom number six with a Miko Suyon variant. Here we have. I gotta open this one up because I don't know what it is. 
Oh, there we go. No, don't get on the book. We have a Wolverine number five. Put it the right way. Sorry. Yeah, that way makes the most sense. Yeah. Got Gambit and all kinds of others on there. That's pretty cool. Got the Wolverine face right there. And we have Justice League Road to Dark Crisis, number one, that one shot. We have Red Hood Outlaw 30. B cover, I think. B or C. Forgot your little. These are all from Panda? Yeah. So did you buy just like a stacker from him or what? I know it was a stacker, but the stacker only had like five or six books. And I can't. Yeah, that's Panda for you. Yeah. So like everything else just he threw in there. Um, X Men 29, Return of Hellfire. Then we have Marvel Age number 41 with some very young Stan Lee on the cover. Ooh, nice book. Yeah. So, yeah, this is this is going to be a keep. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I've always loved that cover. So, all right. So, I know these two things were in the, the, the stacker that I bought. We have Superman 78, the Miko Suyon variant. The homage to okay. Jim Lee. Um, trying to care um to collect these and the Batman ones. So they switched over after these, they switched over World's Finest and did some of those. So I've got that. And then we have this uh backer board that was done by Legal Burning. Oh man, that's so cool. Yeah, it's black cat. That is so awesome. And again, these is Legal Burn. You can find them on Instagram. Check him out. He does great work. This is all wood burn by hand. So awesome. But that's what I got from my, our man Panda. Good old Adrian. He hooked me up, man. All righty. Well, I have a mail call from my buddy Ken Carson. Ooh, that's always good, um, right? I picked up some really cheap books off of him. Um, he was running an auction. and On what these, site? Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, he was selling on whatnot. But I support gotcha. my friend. Were you in there? No. Anyway, Ken was selling these on whatnot. They went for... I was honestly just trying to bid people up to get some interest going. And on these, I want them. I didn't pay more than five dollars for any of these, which right here is a JRJR sign book with the four COA. What? And uh, those sell for 20 at a con, you know, just for the autograph. Yeah. I think I paid five dollars for that book. That's so everything nice. started at a dollar. This is Uncanny X Men 196, signed by JRJR. And Ken, if you don't know, which most people do in this group, um, Ken was uh, owns the business 4C Comics, and they hosted John Romita Jr. at several cons this summer, seven to be exact. Then we have two new or new mutants book and an X Factor book, both signed by Wheezy Louise Simonson. And this is That's New Mutants cool 57. Yeah, right there's her signature. Oh, nice. Good old Wheezy. And then this one's hard to see. Oh, but I, I got these it. for like two bucks each. Nice. Yeah. Autograph books, man. The signature costs more than that. <laughs> yeah. And then Ken knew there were that I like Nova. And he, ha so I'm going to flash you back a little bit. And this is the lesson for today. Um, Brent Peoples uh, did the art on Wastelanders Star-Lord um, when they were doing those one shots on mm -hmm. um, the Wastelander series. Yeah. He did all the art. Um, 
flats and finishes because he works in ink. Um, so basically, there was no penciler or inker. It was just him. He did both. Okay. Well, anyway, um, Star-Lord, as we know, is always a buddy of Nova. And there were several pages in the book that featured Nova in either flashbacks or as kind of a ghost in that book. So when Brent was offering to sell these pages, I was all over it. However, Ken was actually the collector that swooped in and bought the whole book. He bought a complete book and then he divided it up and sold off the pieces he didn't want. When Brent was trying to sell this page, it was $400. And I passed. And it sold anyway as a complete book, so I couldn't get it anyway. Then when Ken listed it, I didn't ask for a discount or anything. He listed it um, when he listed all the pages for like 300 or 320 something like that. And I passed again. I was like, boy, this page looks cool. I like it, but I don't, I don't want to spend that much on it. And then he put it along with some other unsold stuff he had on his 4C Comics page on Facebook for $200. Uh-oh. And I bought it. All over it at that point, man. So there's Old Man Quill fighting with Nova's ghost. He's walking to Cerebro. He sees all these other ghosts of heroes pass. You've got Ghost Rider Storm, Captain America. And he's yelling at the ghosts. And it's signed by Brent Peoples. And it is an amazing page. That is a nice page. And the lesson is patience. Stick to your guns. Like stuff has a tendency to come back around. Don't feel like you have to jump on something just because it fits your wheelhouse. True. Um, patience is the most important thing I've learned in this hobby. If I if I had jumped on something the second it became available, I would have spent double what I ended up spending on this. Save your money. Make it go farther. Get m more stuff with it. Yep. That is, but anyway, that is that's awesome, my man. Ken Carson Hall. Nice. 4C Comics. Check them out on Facebook. Cool sales. They've got a big sketch con. Um, later, probably by the time this airs, we will announce when 4C artist Bill Morrison will be coming to our channel for an interview. Uh, I'm just waiting to hear back from him. And that's everything I had to say. But yeah, they have awesome. a sketch con coming up. Check it out. Yep. All right. And also we got we got our box battle coming up Wednesday night, two days from now. Two days. We got it. Wednesday night. It is me, Beckerman, the comic vet, and Mr. Comics 89 with special guest judge Rob Fat Stacks. Um, so we are going to open up our shop boxes and hopefully shop joins us and we can show our appreciation for everything that he gave us because, you know, shop always brings it. So, um, yeah. How's my mean here. face for battling? Is that your mean is face for battling? Along? We've been working on this for the last few, few uh, episodes. Yeah, that's right. You don't want none of this. Walk away. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want none of this. Whatever, man. And uh, and then next Monday, next Monday, the 12th, the 12th, people, Rue the Day, special edition Rue the Day. We have a comic book auction. Books are starting at a dollar. Slabs are starting at 25 or $30. I'm going to pull a book off the wall and auction it off all for Make-A-Wish Foundation. So come join us. Bid on some books, have a good time, and we're having some giveaways as well. So, wait, Make a Wish Foundation. I thought you said we were giving it to charity. I went and got a bunch of singles. Man, dude. Damn it. Well, I hope Make a Wish needs a bunch of single $1 bills. <laughs> all right. With that note, we are out of here. Thank you all for checking in, and uh, we will catch you next time. See you Wednesday night.